When should you take the MCAT? Pop quiz! What's the number one question pre-meds and MCAT students have about the MCAT? Any guesses? Well, here it is. When should I take the MCAT? Every year, the AAMC releases around 30 MCAT dates to choose from, but how do you choose the perfect MCAT test date for you? Well, that's the topic of discussion for today's video, and at the end, we'll share what the absolute best MCAT test date is for everyone. But first, hey, hi, what's up? We're Blueprint MCAT, and we post videos filled with tips about the MCAT and the pre-med journey. Hit that subscribe button to join our community and never miss a video. Now, you probably already know the MCAT is all about strategy, from timing strategies to guessing strategy to strategy on how to tackle difficult passages and so on and so forth. Unsurprisingly, choosing a test date also involves some strategy. Choosing the wrong date can cause you to rush your MCAT prep and even delay your med school application. Ask yourself these questions before deciding on a test date. First and foremost, will you be ready? The MCAT isn't something that you can just take on a whim, okay? It requires thorough preparation and dedication. So before you even think about choosing a test date, ask yourself, will you truly be ready in time for your test date? Will you have put in the time and the effort to study and review all of the necessary material? Will you even have the time to dedicate three to six-ish months to MCAT prep? And have you or will you have completed all or most of the AMC's recommended courses? Something else to keep in mind if you've already started your your MCAT prep is how far away are you from your goal score? If you haven't started, take a diagnostic MCAT exam to see what your baseline is. This score will influence the rest of your study plan and how long you should prep. Don't know where to get a diagnostic exam? Check the description below for a free one on us. We'll even help you make your own study plan. Number two, when are you submitting your medical school application? What's the saying, the early bird catches the worm or something? Well, the same goes for your medical school applications. Take your MCAT early enough to have your scores ready to submit your application as early as you can, usually the end of May, early June. And lastly, number three, what else do you have going on? You are a pre-med and a human being and you're probably booked and super busy. When it comes to choosing an MCAT test date, you'll want to think about your schedule and any other commitments that you might have. Do you have major exams, projects, or any other obligations coming up that could interfere with your study time or the test itself? For example, are you getting your wisdom teeth removed the week of your MCAT? Don't, don't do that, please. For everything else, make sure to factor those in when picking a date. Now, most people take their MCAT after their third year of undergrad, but you don't need to hold fast to that rule. In fact, if you skip to the end of this video, just make sure to remember this takeaway. The best MCAT test date is the date that lets you fully prepare. Hard stop, mic drop. That means you're familiar with the exam, you've prepped for about 300-ish hours, you've taken a number of full-length practice tests under time conditions, your practice test scores are trending upwards, and you feel confident. Confidence is like 80% of this, seriously. Choosing the perfect MCAT test date is all about readiness, timing, and a little bit of strategy. With careful planning and preparation, you'll be well on your way to crushing the test and taking the next step on your journey to medical school. And that's all I got. Keep studying hard, stay focused, and remember the MCAT might be tough, but so are you.